We have an inside look at a small clinical trial completed while New York was a major COVID-19 hotspot. Doctors examined whether or not hyperbaric oxygen therapy could help people suffering from coronavirus. And here's where we can give you some hope. 90% of the patients in this study recovered. They were discharged and able to go home to their families. Over the course of a month, we had multiple conversations with Dr. Scott Gorenstein and David Lee to bring you this information. Here's how it all started. They remember being desperate for ways to treat their patients as the COVID-19 pandemic exploded. People were dying. Um, people were dying of COVID-19. Um, people were dying in uh, ways that we had never seen before. Gorenstein, who is director of hyperbaric medicine at NYU Winthrop Hospital, says nothing was really effective. What I started seeing in the emergency department scared the bejesus out of me too. The biggest problems with this disease are the respiratory issues and the low oxygen level it causes in blood. We're not going to get into the technical weeds of exactly how hyperbaric oxygen therapy works, but... On a base level, a patient is put into a chamber. That increases the pressure and concentration of oxygen around a patient's body and eventually inside it. Here's the breakdown of how that helped in the NYU clinical trial. They treated 20 COVID-positive patients with hyperbaric oxygen. While two of them died, the remaining 18 patients recovered and were discharged from the hospital. That's a 90% recovery. Doctors compared this group to similar patients who didn't have the treatments. They say they found hyperbaric oxygen decreases the number of deaths and the number of patients that required ventilators. We asked the hospitals and facilities in the DMV which have hyperbaric oxygen chambers if they're using them to treat COVID-19 patients. Right now, no one in our area is. That's because this small study marks the very early stages of this possible medical breakthrough. I guess I feel hopeful that maybe we're on the right track. Dr. Lee is an assistant professor of emergency medicine research at NYU. We don't want to come out and say that this shows that hyperbaric oxygen is definitely effective. We think the next step is to do a larger randomized study of this now that we've demonstrated that hyperbaric oxygen therapy seems to be safe among COVID patients. As you can see in this video taken by hospital staff, everyone wears full PPE. And during the trial, the chambers were only used for COVID cases, so there was no worry about exposing other patients. There are some minor risks. Some people don't tolerate the increased pressure well, but doctors can usually make adjustments to deal with that concern. We also asked whether the chamber ventilation could send COVID particles out into the world. Gorenstein says they had a lot of discussions about this. The risk of the exhaled COVID virus um, being transmitted to another person through the chamber exhaust um, based on where these exhausts are typically located in a hospital was considered to be very, very low. So if you're sitting at home watching this story and wondering what the takeaway is here, the doctors have this message for you. I think I want to tell everybody that uh, you're, you're not alone in this. Don't give up hope. This is a, this is a, a, a new disease. We're um, only in the beginning phases of understanding it. And in a really, really short time, we've made tremendous strides the doctors are looking for other hospital systems to participate in this larger study. Dr. Gorenstein says there are some in our area that have this capability, but they haven't reached out to them just yet.